Let us pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for the blessing of good life. We praise and thank you for the blessing of good health. We praise and thank you for the opportunity to be together in your presence again today, despite the ongoing pandemic that the world is facing today. May you continue to protect each and every one of us here, especially the frontliners who continue to sacrifice everything they have for the betterment of society. And lastly, Father, we ask you to heal those who have been infected, that we give them the strength to fight this disease. We come together with the unity of our faith, and we kindly ask that you bless us with our worship meeting today so that we may learn from each other and use the knowledge we have acquired and apply it to our daily lives. We ask that you grant us the wisdom to pardon and deepen our understanding, our enlightenment, in order to live in harmony with one another, filled with love as you have loved us. Bless each and every one of us here, especially the Mapikonians and the Mapikonians, and of course our dear beloved, the Gatan family, that we may live here today with your spiritual blessing, so that in all things may God be glorified. All of this we ask and pray in the mighty, mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who live and reign with the unity of the Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Lord Jesus, Imapikon, our Mapikon president, we thank you for one, the very successful and meaningful 100th birthday of Mama Nani as well as Papa's Gonzalo's 105th uh, birthday. The many, many children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren shared Victoria and uh, memorable experiences with both Mama and Mama Nani and Papa Gonzalo via Zoom and Facebook. Some of us went to the cemetery where Papa and Mama were was buried and uh, we also prayed the rosary and shared experiences. And then at 6 o'clock p.m. there was also a mass at St. Trinidad Paris for the special of Papa, Nani and Mama Nani. And the lector, Papi Achinsa, his son-in-law, as well as the officiating priest, Father Tio, gave a very good uh, talk during his family about the legacy of Papa and Mama Gonzalo. Two, the new, the BCPP Manila weekly prayer meeting where a certain brother, Reyes Trucio, gave a very good powerful sharing where I was the uh, one who gave the Bible repression and closing prayer. And three, for the continuous family rosary every night at 7.30 in the evening. And then, last it for the very successful Zoom meeting between the DTI, Department of Trade Industry, the Filipino Inventors Federation, the uh, National Committee on Urban Pest Control, and the uh, Mapicon Philippines and Mapicon Green Chapel Philippines. In that Zoom meeting, we discussed the uh, draft executive order or regarding the abolition of the fertilizer pesticide authority and replacing with the agricultural pest control and fertilizer industry board. For all this, Lord, we thank you and thank you so very much. Amen and amen and amen. Psalm 34 verse 19 reads, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, saves those whose spirit is crushed. Are you brokenhearted because you have a disability? Hayaan ninyong basahin ko ang Luke chapter 19 verses 1 to 10. He came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector, and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was, but he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed the sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they all saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. Ito po ang kwento ni Zacchaeus, the tax collector. Siya po ay hindi mahirap, siya ay mayaman. Pero meron siyang kapansanan. Maliit siya, pandak. Hindi niya makita si Jesus. Hinahanap-hanap niya. Paano ko makapupuntahan si Jesus? E ang daming-daming tao. So, anong ginawa niya? Umakyat siya sa puno hanggang sa nakita niya. At uh, ayan na, nagkita na sila ng Panginoon. Anong sabi ni Lord sa kanya? Bumaba ka rito, Zacchaeus, at ako ay tutuloy 
sa iyong tahanan. Napakagandang kwento. Alam nyo, uh, kung meron tayong pagkukulang uh, kapansanan man, pwedeng pisikal, pwedeng hindi tayo nakatapos ng pag-aaral, pwedeng laging kulang, laging kapos sa ganito o sa ganyan, laging huli, uh, pag yung iba nangunguna, ano man yung kapansanan natin. Alam yan ni Jesus. Kinikilala yan ni Jesus. And He has reasons which might be beyond our own understanding. Pero anong nakikita ni Lord? Nakikita niya ang ating puso at ang ating paghahangad, our longing for Him. Zacchaeus ran ahead and climbed the tree. This showed his faith. Kahit na hindi niya pakilala si Lord, Alam niya, may mahalagang mangyayari doon. Alam niya na importanteng tao yan. Kailangan makita ko yan at mapuntahan yan. Ano pa? Nung nagka na sila ng Panginoon, ano sabi niya? Lord, eh, yung kalahati ng aking kayamanan ay pamimigay ko sa mahirap. Ang ganda. Tapos nagsisi siya. At kung ano man ang ninakaw ko, ay, babayaran ko ng apat na ulit. Wow! Kakaiba. At uh, siya ay nakatanggap ng kapatawaran sa Panginoon dahil sa kanyang lubos na pagsisisi. Is there anything lacking in your life? Is there anything that you yearn for and yet is beyond your reach? Well, baka sa panahon naman na ito na naka-quarantine tayo, eh, baka akala natin, kaya-kaya natin at yung mga napakahirap gawin, kinakaya naman natin. Pilit natin kinakaya mag-isa. Eh, mahirap rin yun, kapatid. Kailangan ni Jesus. Kailangan natin si Jesus. Let us turn to Him during this time. Have that sign of humility just like Zacchaeus. Let us run to Him. Let us climb up the tree just to encounter Him. And true enough, the Lord will say to us, Halika, halika, ako'y tutuloy sa tahanan ng iyong puso ngayon. Mga kapatid, tanggapin natin ngayon ang pagpupuno ni Jesus sa ating pagkukulang. Ano mang disability yan, siya ay naririto sa ating piling. Pagpalain tayo ng Panginoon. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you in faith as children unto a father. In the name of your Son, Jesus, asking that you supply all our needs. We cast our cares upon you, our daily needs, individually, as families, as a company, Lord. We present all these to you and ask that you open heaven upon your people. For we ask, we seek, we knock on your door. Provide for every need and supply us with more besides so that we may have blessings to share with others. We pray, Lord, for every prayer petition, we pray, Lord, for every need amongst us. We pray for health and healing and well-being for all. And we continue to pray for our situation that you may heal our land, heal the world, and open heaven so that more will call upon your name and be saved. And we claim all of these in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My Almighty's plan to exalt Christ operates now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen.
Because